So it's, I think, the 10th of May. Friday the 10th of May, I think it is. Currently outside in a field. Sun's over there, so I'm sitting this way. It's a very boggy field if I'm... It's just it's all meadow-like. You can hear the nice traffic in the background. But um, it turns out that that thing there, that big blob in the sky, wherever it is, um, has had some really strong solar flares, some CMEs. So it's had, I think, two, maybe three X flares. A couple of them are like 1.2, 1.3, which an X flare used. That's the lowest, right? There's been one that's 3.9, which is the highest lots of people have seen for um, 20 years. So we're clearly going back into solar maximum. I don't think that it potentially would knock the grid out. There's a possibility that it would do something. I don't think it's hit yet. It hadn't last time I looked, but it's been a very... The sun right now is, in my eyes, it's very bright. It's like almost more bright than normal. Obviously a lot of shit's hitting the ionosphere right now. But uh, the initial burst has already dwindled, I think. So, you know, we're waiting for the actual physical stuff to arrive. Because the light arrives first. I think the plasma or whatever arrives first, or the light element of it. And then the rest of it arrives later, because obviously light travels faster than speed, than speed, than, than um, sound, etc. It's the same with um, how plasma and stuff from the sun travel. So when it hits, what it'll do is it might bend the ionosphere. So it looks like it was the southern part of the sun that um and on the western limb so after all the soda storming happens the tectonic plates will will be under pressure when the soda storm is going on but afterwards it won't be and that's when you could get potentially quite large earthquakes um which unfortunately is one of those things that happens with solar flares but um yeah, it's quite interesting because it means the sun's stepping back up. And there is a risk also if everything hits all in one hit that it could potentially, you know, cause some issues, especially with radio and um, mobile phones and internet service and electrical devices. Because electro electromagnetic pulses are not good for anything electrical. Let's just get that clear. They're just not. Um, so because of that we've had this freak moment of warmth because in England it's been tragic I've not known I work for a, a delivery service and the people who I work with are in their shorts usually by March um, some wear them all year because they're idiots but March end of March beginning of usually after Easter um, they've only just got in their shorts this week that's quite tragic really um, it's only 24 degrees today which I've got, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, you have to work it out. 24 degrees Celsius, which isn't stupidly hot, but it's it's a nice kind of sort of chemtrail y sort of kind of sky. Yeah, um, I, to be honest, I, I don't blame them spraying today because if there is a sh load of shit going to hit the ionosphere, it might actually protect us. I don't know. Um, but I thought I'd cycle out because I haven't cycled out. This is the second cycle I've had this year. And where I come, there's, there's this lake that you can cycle around, and then there's like these little places that go out to a village called Wooten. And um, everything's so boggy and muddy, all the little side tracks. Because I've just come off into a field where I usually cycle round like a bit and sit and have a beer or a spliff or something like that. I didn't bring anything with me, I'm being good. I thought I'd come out for a quick cycle, burn some calories then go back for me dinner and have a beer and a, I'm not smoking much weed anymore decided that I've become a little bit reliant on it I've sorted my life out quite a lot to be honest sick and tired of um, <laughs> being an addict almost yeah it makes you feel like it but yeah I've just cleaned myself up a bit still have fun so at the weekend I might have a beer I've got one can of beer I went to Sainsbury's yesterday and um I bought one can of beer and I was going to buy two cans of beer because I thought I'd have one Friday and I'd have one Saturday or I might want two on Friday and I was like no it, it, you know it's three for four 
I was like, if I buy three, I get a fourth one free. And I was like, I can't trust myself to have four beers in the house that I like because I'll end up drinking them. So I didn't buy them. I only bought one can. It wasn't the most cost effective, but hey, shit happens. But it's not so much drinking's a problem. Eh? Four cans of beer is nothing. Um, it's more of the fact that I spend that much time watching what I eat, keeping myself fit, going to the gym, etc. To then, you know, if you then every weekend drink a shit ton of alcohol, it's like counterproductive, isn't it? It's not really. <laughs> What's the point? You know, once a month, go out and get pissed. Fair enough. But because of that, I haven't seen a lot of people. I haven't seen a lot of friends. I haven't gone out and been social that much because I've kind of got used to my own company again. I used to spend a lot of time on my own because um, I actually quite like being on my own. Um, and during COVID, that that was that fucked me up because I was being told that I couldn't go out and I was being told I couldn't hang around with people and that's where I have an issue don't tell me what to do and it made me think that I needed people around me I don't need people around me as it happened quite happy doing my own thing I've got another channel called Izzy's Hippie Fitness channel and in the last like week I've got 12 more subscribers I'm like that's bloody unheard of oh what's going on I must have put the right thumbnail in the Anyway, back to CMEs and the sun stepping up. I think we're going into Solar Maximum and um, we're going to see more of it. So let's just hope nothing... Well, actually, there's a dark side of me that says... I said to a friend earlier, the part of me wants it to trip everything out because then it might send everyone back to um, 1920. <laughs> and a lot of people wouldn't be out to cope. And in a way, I think... You know, like, although COVID was a ball ache, it gave the society a little bit of a shake, even though it's not been the same since. People did come together. I just think this world has got so fucked up. You know, we're all guilty of it, but it's got so fucked up. It, it, I just, it's just not a nice place anymore. Oh, a bit of wind blowing up. Oh, that's interesting. Why have we got wind? Look. I don't know, has it hit? It could have done. Can't see any weird clouds in the sky just yet. Usually when a solar storm hits, there's a lot of haze though. You get them, you know that like harp sort of cloud that everyone goes, oh it's harp. It's not always harp. Sometimes it's solar winds hitting the ionosphere and it causes the, the, the clouds to flatten. So if you've got like a, a fluffy cloud and then it gets flat like that and looks really flat. Mm. That can sometimes be because of the impact of CEE, CME, CMEs. My phone's still working, which is good as well, so electronics are still working, so nothing's hit like that. Um, if anything, sorry America, but your grid will go down before ours because your grid's crap compared to ours. We've got a really good grid system, really, really good. It's probably one of the best in the world, so it's unlikely that our transformers will blow like they did when the telegraph poles all set alight in. Is it 1918? I think the last time something fucked up happened. Anyway, this, as I say, this, this flare on its own is nothing to really worry about. It, it will, might cause the aurora to pull down south a bit and you might be able to see it in southern parts of the planet that you wouldn't normally be able to see it. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna blow the atmosphere off the, the planet or anything weird like that. Unless all of them hit at the same time, then it could exacerbate the um, strength of it. Yeah, that's it really. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm just going to close on a English countryside. Oh, oh, beautiful English countryside with a couple of industrial states behind it and a road that you can fucking hear. Hmm, yay. Because we're a small little island, you can never really escape unless you go out to Scotland or Wales or somewhere like that and then the weather's never any good. This, where I am now, actually, for those of you who are American. Where I am now, that's Kempston over there and Wootton's in that direction. Well, in this direction, over here, is potentially where the next Universal Studios is going to be. Literally over there, about two miles. Yes, I live in the town that's potentially having 
the next Universal Hollywood Universal Studio theme park built in and it looks like the planning permission is going through um, there's 92% positive feedback the mayor's got involved the um, I don't know not the mayor sorry the politicians have got involved because it would just bring a lot of bring a lot of money and things to the area don't get me wrong Bedford the good thing about Bedford is it's in a valley and we get good weather we don't very often get thunderstorms and too much rain we, you know it does rain I'm not saying it doesn't but because we're in a valley we're protected a bit and if you think now it's 24 degrees here it's 24 degrees in London you go to Norfolk which is like 100 miles in that direction <laughs> it's 14 degrees <laughs> mm. yeah so it, it'll be quite good I, I, I'm actually quite looking forward to it I'm not really big on things that go round and round but I love roller coasters so yeah anyway, I'm going to go now so peace love and light have a good weekend <laughs>